we start today's Market Watch, we have registration open for this month's Zodiac Tournament. Rage of the Abyss and everything that's been revealed this week is legal for this. We're playing Dueling Book, so I'll leave a link down below so you can get it in today. We're going to have some gem deck boxes as prizes, so you guys, it's all free, and I am the one running it. So I hope you guys will take some time out of this and sign up. Let's pass on over to Market Watch. Things are not calming down out here as the rapid news movements have been shifting the market crazily. Make sure you smash the link right out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out. More Oz content. Gamer's Choice still has pre-sales up. We talked about a lot of this yesterday. I'm not going to go too su super far in depth with this, but right now Fiendsmith cores have bumped up to a $430. They also have the QCR engravers at $350, and those are on the up and up here. But across the board here, a majority of these QCRs I think are pretty cheap for anybody that does want to add them to the collection. The regular Fiendsmith engravers alone are $100 seeker rare as of filming this. The Silhouette Rabbit also still moving on the up and up here. Uh, a lot of interesting price points to kind of be taking a look at here. So once again, discount code MCL40 over here on Gamer's Choice Slave in your purchase. And same thing over here on Kongs. So if there is anything that you want to pick up that they might have over here, once again, discount code MCL40 will save you on your purchase. A lot of good stuff across the board here, but I think you've got some interesting options available across the board here. And once again, discount code MCL40 will save you on your purchase. Now, that new rank 4 archetype that got announced, the Rizul, it's basically the rank 4 turbo deck. And a few people have been talking about, hey, you know, since we're locked into rank 4, what are some actual applications out here and things that we can look at actually using? Well, number 39, Utopia Double, actually comes down here because for those of you that have forgotten, this was the classic OTK card that, you know, people would use. Now, unfortunately, you're going to have to pick up a nice little brick here called Double or Nothing. And I know so many people have forgotten about this card's existence. To be fair, though, these are cheap. Like, you take your pick of whichever version you want. Even the Ultra from Dual Power is a nice 30 cents. So there's not a lot of craziness to think about here, but if you're looking at the Rizal, granted it is a much fairer version of Drytron and everything you've been seeing, I, I think that card's a pretty decent watch out here. No, just diving into Dual Power in general out here. These boxes are $100 a piece. That's insane. Our own mage, Jasmine's How the Mighty Have Fallen. You know, this was like the best card in this set. And we're down to $3 for the long term. The bond between teacher and student, I bet you forgot that this card even existed. These are $12 currently, and there has been no real change on those. The Dark Calvary, nice $9 card. See, there's our friend Utopia Double. You do see the drop down in the Crystal Wing here. Such a crazy drop. The Wing Dragon Aram, Mortal Phoenix. I mean, these are $5, and they're retracing. Even, actually, interestingly enough, the Imperms here are regaining some value. The Ash Blossoms from this set, still coming at about $6 actually so okay to the I mean you're looking at a sealed hundred dollar product here I'm not all that surprised to still see that there are certain things back here that still have value platinum gadgets a five dollar card but you didn't know that either card demise still five dollars the promo pack sealed is like seven dollars by itself that's kind of crazy to think about the jasmine in the sets three dollars the necros Brionic is also threes yeah you've got some crazy value back here so I would highly recommend keeping an eye on the Utopia Double just as a potential here. Um, I highly doubt this thing's going to get a reprint anytime soon. This is one of the, what we're going to call the Forgotten Era cards out here that you're just like, huh? This thing never had a, you know, it's still cheap? Yeah, evidently. Um, so for everybody out here that... I guess thought that this was a joke the other day when we talked about it. We were ahead of the buyout. Um, we talked about it on Market Watch, <coughs> and personally, I still think this is a meme and a half. But with the whole new world premiere theme, the Mimi Ghoul out here, guess what you're looking at here? A free card that literally says target one monster you control and a monster your opponent controls, and apply the following, which lets you. If it's face up, force it to face down, and if it's face down, force it to face up. Um, you do not have to do anything. So with the Mimi Ghoul theme, basically revolving around these slip effect monsters and stuff like that, um, this card actually has an application out here. And the sad part is, is these QCRs actually have been moving. Like I'm actually 
kind of horrified by the stupid damage that this card has actually caused. You know how many people I watched eat this card as a joke? They're like, oh, this card's so terrible, but <sighs> I guess the decisions. You know, you can get a Platinum Seeker Rare for 10 cents. You can get Ultras for 20 cents. You can get the PURs for <laughs> for 6 cents. You can get the PCRs for 20 cents. It's just that quarter century that's costing you any sort of money. And like I said, I, you have plenty of these available to you. You just, if you want the top of the line finish, just jump down here to the Platinum Seeker area. It's gonna achieve you the exact same result and might look a little bit better. Huh, Constellar Ptolemy M7. So, we got that nice little communication from Konami where they're like, hey, you guys know, uh, you're probably going to do something about that ban list in August. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of you, uh, which probably marks the end of Beatrice in our format. Uh, so guess what? We have to look towards the alternatives out here to uh, potentially be something worthwhile. And uh, let's call it what it is here. I mean, uh, the free detach one target a monster on the field or in the graveyard and recur it back to the hand doesn't look too bad. I do see, I mean, your curve down here was pretty rough. Um, he had some sales yesterday, 12 bucks, $6. Um, is it worth picking up? I mean, I, I, I don't know how your rank six utility box is going to look, nor do I know the possibility of a list is going to bring. But in terms of rank sixes, um, M7 is definitely not a terrible option. Uh, you can get some Dusa versions for 45 cents. It's interesting because the uh, original Seeker Rare is like $4, but that Dusa version looked kind of good. Same thing with the gold here, nice 20 cents. To be fair though, you've got Eldorado Rares at 4 cents, and you got King's Court Commons at a penny. Ugh, that's rough. Okay. Wave King Kaiser. So once again, you know, we're talking about that rank 6 utility option out here. I uh, also love the fact, I, I didn't think that this card actually was still worth the amount of pennies that we've been throwing at it. But no, evidently, Wave King Kaiser, I mean, you do see your unlimited version was hitting $5 there. Uh, yeah, you're still looking at about, what, like four-ish dollars per copy of this? Once again, I'm not all that surprised, considering the fact, you know, it's two level six feet monsters, and, you know, you essentially have this. If something does end up happening to Beatrice, I mean, they're just going to run this card. Uh, same thing down here with the version from OTS Pack 24. Thank you, reprints. Uh, you're looking at a nice, like, $253 for this, so... Not looking too shabby out here. I'm not going to lie about that, but it's definitely, it's not at the level of affordability that you want it to be like at a penny. <laughs> Maxi, oh man, oh man. How many people out here instantly ran when they saw the Speed Duel reprint and started throwing money at their screen? Um, I will say this though, the Altis have fallen a lot more than they should have. Uh, yeah, you've only got one sale for like $307 for mod play. Uh, your mods all day long are $350, $370, $375. The Mighty have fallen for this thing, actually. Like, you guys remember during like the high era of COVID, where this thing was like $800, and it has just been retracing value each and every market watch. Um, which I do think is good that we're watching the high end fall. Um, original Seeker Rares, I see a nice price of $48 there. Now the Seeker Rare, I guess, yeah, you had a uh, two sets move on the day that this happened. No movements on the 10th right now. So yeah, somebody came through here and was like, I'll pick up a playset or two, which I, it is fine. Once again, um, $180 is a little bit rough, I guess. Meanwhile, Ultra's down here from the Legendary Collection. Yeah, no movements. You had a damaged one for $6, which I'm not going to lie, does look a little bit inviting on the back end of things. Your super rares, these are very expensive. What? Supers are still 12 to $13. Wow. Okay, super rares. I see you. I didn't think those were actually still worth anything, but okay. Your golds are also pushing like 18 I don't know. These were these were the machine commons. Wow. And then, of course, hmm, why would I buy commons at 17s when I can buy golds for 17s? You can also get supers for, like, $12 down here as well. Um, actually, yeah, these are pushing 15 to 17 as well. So the three lowest rarities here on Max C across the board here, <laughs> the super, the gold, and the common are all functionally the same price. 
that is interesting to see. But I mean, that's that's your current status of the market on the Max C side of things. Once again, I mean, people rushing out here. <laughs> Uh, not the greatest movements, but it's it's something. So what do you guys think about today's market? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Wouldn't you be walking away with a booster pack as per usual? You guys have a good rest of your day, all right? Patrons, thank you. Uh! <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.